Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new episode of Mystery Box Monday. We've got a double upload day today of two Mystery Box Mondays. First, we have our standalone Mystery Box Monday with 10 different packages that we'll rip open. And then a little bit later tonight, we have a live stream portion. We're doing the J. Claus Series 5. And there is some big, big cards in there, including a PSA 10 first Fernando Tatis Jr. purple refractor which is a very, very valuable chase card amongst others. So let's go ahead and get started. Move some of these off the screen and go ahead and start with our first one up. This one comes from Triple Play Vintage. So Triple Play Vintage is up first. I took a look inside. I was thinking, okay, Triple Play Vintage, awesome store. We've been there before and I was wondering, is there enough in here to get its own video? But uh, I think... Just, there's a few packs in here. I'll show you what they are right now. We'll just uh, lead off with this for Mystery Box Monday. They are the $6 repacks, and it's all Baseball Hall of Famers. So that's pretty awesome right there. I know a lot of you like Baseball Hall of Famers. Who doesn't? And uh, Triple Play Vintage, if you are in the Cleveland area, you can go and check them out. Um, they're in Cuyahoga Falls near Akron. And they've got a lot of good stuff there. So they've got a new product here that we will show you right now. Six packs of uh, the Repack Hall of Famers. So take a look at that. Get them all put there and then uh, we'll open them up and see if it's worth it or not. And you can get one of these for yourself. So $6, pretty, I think it's pretty fair if there's some Hall of Famers in here from the 50s and 60s. It says find 50s and 60s in every box. So apparently they have an entire box of these. That would be a fun throwback Thursday to do one of these days. Maybe I'll have to go and buy a whole box and break that open. This is just a little preview. Let's see what we have. All right, so I got a Tom Seaver, 1983 Tops card leading things off. There's Craig Biggio, Ryan Sandberg, 91 Tops, Derek Jeter, Don Russ, 2014 card. Robin Young, 88 score. There's Tony Gwynn, Ken Griffey Jr., Willie Mays archives card. We've got Vlad Sr., a Satchel Page card. And there we go. I was hoping there'd be at least one vintage card from the you know 70s or before. A Rod Carew 1971 Tops card. Awesome card right there. So that's kind of like, uh, you know, these kind of remind me a little bit of the State Classy packs in terms of their price point. Only $5 a piece with a guaranteed hit. And I considered a vint I would consider a vintage Hall of Famer to be a hit for sure. Love that Rod Crew. Let's go ahead and see what we have in the next pack. By the way, the Stay Classy packs, they are expanding again now to the $50 level. I'm going to be getting a whole bunch of those and open those up for you guys as well. So there's a Hank Aaron. That is a, um, I don't know what year this one is, 2008 Tops insert card. There's a 87 Fleer, Jack Moore, Stan Musial. Kyle Ripken Jr. Archives card. Tipper Jones, 94 upper deck. There's Ron Santo, Sporting News card. That's an original. So good one right there. 1969 tops. Ron Santo, Sporting News All-Star card. We'll put that with the Rod Carew. There's Marion Rivera, Don Mattingly. Mattingly, of course, not a Hall of Famer. Some people think that maybe someday he'll sneak in there. There's Ken Griffey Jr., Nolan Ryan, and Kyle Ripken Jr. is the last one. Let's go on to the next one. Pack number three. So we'll be live tonight probably around 9 o'clock or so with the Jake Claus mystery packs. Maybe 8 o'clock, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to be um, opening 20 boxes of Jake Claus, and there's some really good stuff in there. There's Raleigh Fingers, 81 tops. Craig Biggio, rookie card. That's a good one. 1989, Walter Johnson archives card. Kirby Puckett, metal. Mike Mussina, and here we go. Here's our... Uh, 1972 Bob Gibson. Love that one. Eddie Murray and Mel Ott as well. So let me know in the comments what you think of this product and all of the products that we opened today. There's going to be a bunch of them. You can, you know, always offer constructive criticism. Like if you see somebody that, um, you know, might need to change things up a little bit to make it a little bit, bit better, leave that in the comments. I know that uh, a lot of these folks that send this stuff in read the comments and then they make their stuff better. There's Joe Morgan, 83 Fleer, to lead us off. Jeff Bagwell, rookie card, 1991, upper deck. We've got a George Brett. That's an archives card. Carl Yastrzemski, very, very nice. So we've got a Yastrzemski, 1964 tops card, early Yastrzemski card, Kirby Pocket, and a 1974 
Nolan Ryan and Tom Seaver. That's an awesome card right there. So two nice ones in that pack. Next up, let's see what we can find in our fifth out of six packs. This would be fun to do an entire box of these and see what the uh, the vintage Hall of Famer would be from the 50s. There's Ken Griffey Jr. You got a 1975 Harmon Killebrew, who's a Hall of Famer. Good card right there. Edgar Martinez rookie card from 88 Fleer. There's Jim Tomey, 92 Fleer. G. Nelson. <laughs> I think this, this was obviously mistaken for Dennis Eckersley. G. Nelson, nowhere near a Hall of Famer. We got Tim Raines, 86, and also Tom Seaver. Let's go to our last pack and see what we can find before we move along to the next, uh, next pack up on this Mystery Box Monday. There's Dave Winfield on the back. We got a 1978 George Brett. Great card right there. Tom Glavin, rookie card. From 88, Don Ross, another Griffey. Nolan Ryan. Tom Glavin, Paul Molitor, Jim Tomey. There's Frank Thomas and Dave Winfield. So pretty cool idea. I like it. It's the uh, Hall of Fame repacks from Triple Play Vintage, and I'll probably head on out there again one of these days and probably bring another video. I, last time I was there, I did notice that the store was all moved around, but I didn't have a lot of time because I was going to see a Dave Matthews Band concert. So I just grabbed some stuff and uh, did a video of a pack on everything, but we'll get back out there. Michael Mandel is up next. Michael, thank you very much for sending this. We'll see what you have submitted. On this Monday, there's a little pack of cards there. I don't see a note in here, though, so let's see what we have. We have some... Oh, we've got some Timmy cards. So Timmy has... Uh, I hope he's not going to watch this. So I'm, I'm assuming these are for Timmy, and these... I'm not sure if these are for... Michael, let me know in the comments if these are for Timmy also. A Key Brian Hayes Orange, a Nolan Ryan, and a Derek Jeter as well. So we'll put these aside for Timmy. He will love opening those up. And speaking of that, there's another product right here from Randy. It says, not for Mystery Box Monday. It's PC cards for Eric, Robbie, and Timmy. So we'll open this one right now while we're at it. Some PC cards for Robbie, Timmy, and myself. And then I'll just uh, deliver these all to uh, Timmy when I see him a little bit later today. So let's see what we have in here. Thank you, Randy, very much for sending this over. And thank you, Michael. Really appreciate the uh, the cards here. So let's see what we have. I'm guessing Timmy's gonna get Tatis. By the way, Robbie, uh, who's Heather's other son, had a championship travel league game yesterday, and um, that's why there was no auction last night. They ended up losing. It was a very exciting game. They lost six to five. They had the the tying run and go ahead run on base in the last inning. They were they were the visiting team with nobody out, and unfortunately, they could not get a run across the plate. So Luis Robert right there, Fernando Tatis and Aaron Judge. The judges will be for Robbie. The Tatises will be for Timmy, and of course Luis Robert. You know is one of my favorites. Thank you very much, Randy, for sending these over. I'll go ahead and turn around and put these in my little PC cabinet that I have going on up there. Just toss everything in there that people send in for the PC, just so it doesn't get mixed up uh, with other cards. Next up, we've got Connor Knox. Connor, thank you very much. By the way, if you have something you'd like to send to me to open up on a Mystery Box Monday, here's the address. Give you Jab's family attention, Mystery box monday that attention will make sure that i put in the right stack so it doesn't go into my ebay stack because uh, i'm always buying uh, boxes and stuff off of ebay so pleasant unity pa15676 p.o box 402 you gotta have the p.o box 402 so actually the best format that you want to want to put on here is going to be p.o box 402 pleasant unity pa15676 all right so let's go ahead and rip this open now and see what we can find There's a thank you pack in this one. And uh, from Connor, we have a little note here. It says, hi, Jams. I hope you're doing well. Today I present to you my second run of PSA mystery packs after sending you a pack about a month ago. The series sold out in less than a week. This is my last series before I'm off to college, and I'm getting rid of some of my bigger cards. There's 22 packs in the series, and, well, now there's 21. 
after the one that they sent in to me. The price is $35 on eBay or $30 if you direct message him through Instagram. So says, thank you for what you do for the hobby, and here's what you can expect out of each pack. You get one PSA graded rookie card, a PSA 9 or 10, five rookie cards, 10 base cards, and the chase cards are going to be the Vlad Jr. Bowman's Best Rookie Card in a PSA 10, which you see right there, PSA 9, Christian Yelich. Uh, first Bowman Chrome, a Pete Alonso Chrome Rookie in a PSA 9, George Springer Blue, PSA 9, and Tatis in a PSA 10. So there's some chasers. Here's the pack right here. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we can find from Knox Cards. So one PSA graded card, it's going to be an update card from two, 2018. It's Glaber. So the Glaber in a PSA 10 is the PSA card. Set that one aside. And here is the pack of five rookies and 10 base cards, if I can ever find the starting point. Sometimes some team bags just take me a little longer. I can't find the, the crease. There we go. In the seam. Let's see what we can find now in this. I think I saw Marcus Semyon rookie card on the back. So here are the base cards leading things off. Not nice Ichiro gold card in there. Freddie Freeman, Machado, uh, Andrew Vaughn. Joey Gallo rookie card is a nice one. Henry Ramos rookie. Vlad Jr. rookie card. That is the complete set variation. Very nice right there. That's an awesome card, Orlando Arcia, and there's the Semyon. So love, love the Vladdy. Thank you very much for sending that pack over again. If you'd like to pick it up, you probably want to send him a direct message on Instagram. Save yourself five bucks. We have this thank you pack with Barry Bonds Studio. A couple Bonds cards there, Van Slyke and Ronzi Contreras and O'Neill Cruz. Very, very nice. These guys are really high on my list. O'Neill Cruz is probably my favorite pirate right now. Uh, love love this card. So And Ronzi Contreras, my favorite Pirates pitcher. I don't know. Maybe it's just something with me and prospects and, and rookies. Always have such high hopes. And I'm watching those guys. So thank you very much for sending those in. I'll put those cards in the PC. All right. So Knox cards, everybody. Again, message them on Instagram. Save yourself a little bit of money. And now we move on to this next one, which is from Second Chance Resale. Little pack right here, second chance resale. Let's see what we have in this one. No giant boxes today. Most of the stuff is going to be maybe like single packs or so, like this size package. Little note right here. It says, Hey Eric, so thankful for your channel. Your videos have helped me get through a tough back surgery and recovery in 2018. I've been a faithful viewer ever since. Your enthusiasm and expertise inspired me to get back into the hobby from the 70s and find my baseball and football collection. Thankfully, still in the same box from when I was a kid. Also, you inspired me to start my own YouTube channel called Duke of Cards, documenting my collection and telling the story of my great uncle Duke Esper pitching against um, Cy Young. Uh, and his uncle there was a pro ball player of 1890 and 1898. Since I recently started selling on eBay, so I put together some Super 70s baseball mystery packs for my collection to give others the opportunity I had growing up. Included as one random pack for you to open for yourself or give away. Try to keep it simple. 25 packs were made up. They're called Super 70s. So they get miscellaneous 70s cards, 30 cards, and two Hall of Famers minimum. They are on sale underneath the name Second Chance Resale. The eBay item is 354. 107588663 and they're 10 bucks a piece plus five dollars shipping if anybody has any future uh, recommendations or suggestions you can leave them in the comments for matt and um he'll read them over and take them into consideration so let's check it out 15 dollars out the door for a bunch of 70s cards including some hall of famers at least two Let's see what we can find. They are inside a team bag here. We've got a Buddy Bell and Gus Bell card leading things off. We have a uh, 74 Rookies Catchers card. Nobody notable on there. There's Joe Rudy, Clay Kirby, Mike Tyson. Always funny when I see Mike that Mike Tyson card. Ray Fossey. There's Steve Garvey, great player. Just came up short at the Hall of Fame. We've got Randy Stein, Jose Cruz. And I think the Hall of Fame cards are going to be sleeved up here. Um, there's Buddy Harrelson, Hal Breeden, 75, and Harmon Killebrew, 1974 tops. Nice card right there. He's a Hall of Famer. So it is sleeved up. And our second Hall of Fame card, it's going to be a, uh, 
Oh, not a Hall of Famer, but it's a Bill Madlock rookie card, which is pretty nice. So this pack had one Hall of Famer in it, and uh, also a nice Bill Madlock rookie card, and Steve Garvey, although not in the Hall of Fame, also a good player. So, Matt, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Again, if you'd like to try that pack out, it is $15 on eBay. Let's continue on. This one was a... Uh, this is a multi-pack. It says two of two. So let's go ahead and check this one out. This is from 543 Collectibles. Joel from 543 sent in these two. We'll start with this one. It says one of two and see what we can find in here. There's a note. Let's go ahead and check this out. So it says, hello there. My name's Joel and I'm one of your Patreon members and I'm sending you two of my random baseball mystery graded slabs. They're currently on eBay. The item number is 125, 331, 694, 053. If you type that in, it'll bring it right up. And it's under the seller name JDK543. The price is $37.99 a piece, and it includes shipping. So I have an eBay store now called 543 Collectibles, where I have about 500 or so cards listed. Many are just a dollar and shipping for $1.29 via the eBay standard envelope. It says, store items ship for free with a $20 purchase. It says, anyway... Back to the graded card mystery packs. There's 75 made up. They're all gem mint 9.5 and 10s. Uh, they will vary from grading companies such as PSA, Beckett, GMA, SGC, ISA, and others. It says cards will vary from rookies, autos, first Bowmans, and inserts. I'll be adding more as I inquire more inventory. Thanks for what you do for the hobby. That's a thank you. I'm sending you your favorite card, and there it is. The Barry Bonds 87 Tops. Love this card. I cannot get enough of this card. I, I literally, anytime I go to a card show or store and I see this card for a good price, I buy it. Sometimes I'm, there's been a couple instances where I've walked out with 40 or 50 of it for like a dollar or two a piece. So that's an awesome card. Love that one. Thank you very much for sending that over. And now on to this. So they are $38 for a mystery slab. And he said there's two of them here. So there's this one, and then there's a second one as well. So we'll open these up. Uh, one thing that I would say right off the bat, I like the idea of a mystery slab, but I would probably, if you really want these to sell like hotcakes, um, I'd probably get rid of some of the, the the weirdo grading companies. Maybe just stick to PSA and Beckett. SGC's not bad, but GMA and ISA, I'm a little, a little wary of those. So somebody that might you know, be on the fence about buying this, they get one of those, they might not buy it because they don't want a GMA. Just, just saying. That's my little advice, but I do like the idea. And here we have, we have a GMA. It's a GMA Mike Trout PSA 10. It's a nice card. It is a um, nice Prism Refractor 2020 Topps Chrome. So nice one right there. Now me personally, I don't collect GMA. So I'll probably either auction this one off or give it away. Maybe, um, I'm not sure, but that is an awesome looking card right there. Gem Mint 10 GMA for the first one. I love Mike Trout, as you know. Definitely one of my top five favorite players. And next, spot number two. He said he sent two of these over. Here's the second one. So Joel, thank you very much for sending these in. Again, if you'd like to grab one of these mystery slab packs for yourself, they're $37.99. It's also a little note here. This one looks like it's going to be an SGC with the black tuxedo, and it's going to be Nick Madrigal, uh, his rookie card in an SGC 10 black tuxedo. Here's the uh, calling card once again, if you'd like to go and grab one of those from yourself from 543. So thank you very much. Like the idea. I love, I love slabs. And... Uh, some cool stuff right there. So again, I would just probably eliminate the, the uh, I'd probably stick to just PSA, maybe even just PSA primarily, um, if you're able to. But anyway, let's go ahead. We've got three left. This next one comes from the Anvil Card Company. So Anvil Card Company in Rhode Island, the smallest state in the United States, Rhode Island. I've uh, been to Rhode Island many times as I spent lots of summers going to Mesquamacit Beach up there in Rhode Island. And uh, most recently there, maybe like five years ago, I went there when I took my daughter to a Red Sox game. But let's go ahead and see what we have. A little pack right here. There's also a note. Let's see what it says. It says, hi, Jabs. I love your content. I thought you might like this set of packs to break. Enjoy, Mike. All right, let's check it out. So there's a little 
heat sealed bag here. Maybe I should use the box cutter, I don't know. And I'm not sure what these are. These, uh, these, these are bringing back. I'm not that I have any memories of cigarettes, but uh, they used to have tobacco cards. Kind of reminds me of the the um, Hannes Wagner T206 card. Take a look at this. Pretty cool little refractor right here. So let's check these out from Anvil Card Company. It also reminds me of buying bubblegum cigarettes back in the day or whatever it was candy cigarettes you remember those they're like a quarter pack probably a terrible idea because it uh markets smoking to kids luckily um i never developed the habit for smoking i know it is a tough one to break but let's see what we can have in this little piece of bazooka right there and this truly is a mystery so there's oh look at this look what we just found <laughs> it is a Hannes Wagner Atomic Refractor. How cool is that? And a pack of, I think, bubblegum cigarettes. I guess that's the way they used to do it, huh? I've never opened up, obviously, a pack of 1909 cigarette cards. But I'm guessing that that's how it used to be. You get your your little cigarette fill right there, and that's what that is. That's just a, a prop to kind of um, give you the feel of pulling a Hannes Wagner so there would be one card in there. I always wondered how they packaged those. How cool is that? So next we have our second pack. And um, Connus Wagner, by the way, the card is so valuable because he was outraged that his image was being associated with cigarettes and tobacco. He was against that. He didn't want kids to do that. He didn't want his fans to think that he supported smoking. So he, uh, he complained about it and had his... Uh, image removed from the packs and um, that's why it's so valuable take a look at this we have a Hannes Wagner again kind of a little weathered around the side isn't that cool very very cool stuff right there so two Wagners plus an atomic and we've got one more the U Z is that U Z it or U, I guess use it mouthpiece cigarettes pack. Let's see. Well, I'm guessing it's going to be a Wagner again, unless it's another player from the era, like a uh, Cy Young or something like that. Ty Cobb maybe. These packs aren't the easiest to open, so let's see. So this is going to be. A, another Hannes Wagner. Really, really cool stuff right here. I like how they're all wrapped up. Hannes Wagner again. So that's, I guess, how the cards were inserted in the packs. A little piece of bazooka gum as well. Very, very nice right there. So thank you very much for sending those over. That was fun. Anvil Card Company. I don't know if you guys sell cards online or whatever, but shout out to you guys. Thank you very much for putting those together. Very cool. Maybe they sell those cigarette replica packs. You could buy some for yourself. Just as uh, maybe give it as a gift to somebody or something like that. Cool stuff right there. Thank you very much for that. All righty. That last one was actually accidentally an eBay purchase. I guess I got to do a better job and make sure that I note the Mystery Box Monday on there. So this one's for Mystery Box Monday. It's from Tim. Let's see what we have from Tim. Open this up and see what we can find here. So for Tim, looks like we've got a mystery pack. It is a gold mystery pack. And it is called the Prospect Packs. Prospecting for Prospect Prospect Packs. It's a lot of alliteration, which I'm a fan of. It says, hello, Jazz family. Thank you so much for taking the time to review my first mystery product, the Prospect Pack. I call it the Prospect Pack because most of the cards inside from each pack are either rookie, prospect, draft, or gold cup card. They're going to include players from Alan Trammell to Louis Heal. I don't consider this a chase product, but some of the better rookie cards you can find are going to be, as you see there, Yadi Molina rookie card, Bryce Harper 2011, Bowman, and so on. It says each pack includes 30-plus cards with no commons. It goes on to say that packs will include a rookie auto memorabilia card and or numbered parallel cards. 
Says these packs will include some non-rookie memorabilia cards, late 70s or early 80s vintage cards, or numbered parallel cards. But remember, the majority of all the cards in these packs are going to be rookies and prospects, and you never know who the next Trout or Sho Shohei Otani is going to be. Now, the cost of these packs is $28 plus $6 shipping on eBay, so $34 out the door. It says... See below for his information. I've done my best to make sure these packs are worth the price. I appreciate any feedback you or your viewers can give me. Oh, and I only made 26 of these packs so I could send you one. I still have 25 left for the general public. It says, thanks again, Eric, and have fun hunting those prospects. And then it goes on to say, uh, thanks again for your amazing channel and getting me back in the hobby a few years ago, although my wife isn't quite as happy about it as I am. So, Tim, thank you very much. The eBay number right there again is 234-569-665-169. If you type that in, it'll bring it right up. I got a special you buy too you get 10 percent off so the prospect packs We've got one of them right here let's go and check this one out and i think now that i feel it there's a, a nice logo on the other side this is pack number eight 25 of these made up and available on ebay right now let's see what we've got in here we've got a mike trout 20 what, what year is that 2021 don russ card with the mask on and I see the autograph is attached to it. So let's not disclose the autograph just yet. We'll save that for the end. Alrighty, so we have... Again, these are going to mostly be prospects and rookies. Lady Tavares leading things off. There's Luis Patino, Rodolfo Castro, Justin Dunn, Aristides Aquino. Lots of rookie cards here. Garrett Hampson, Logan Webb rookie card is a good one. Travis Demerit, Jose Arquiti rookie card from Chrome. Austin Ola, Red Foil rookie. It's Hoy Park opening day rookie card. Got a Sean Pop and Mike Trout's tossed in. How about an Ozzie Smith second year card? That's awesome. A really cool card right there. I love that card. 1980 Tops, Ozzie Smith. So some nice ones put in the middle. There's Riley Green. We've got Alex Kirloff, Christopher Morrell, D. Gordon, Chris Carpenter, Derek Lee and Kinsler rookie card. Yvonne Rodriguez, Gold Cup, Gary Sheffield. Levon Hernandez, Mike Bucina, rookie card, and Ian Anderson. So definitely some nice cards in that pack. My favorite was the Aussie Smith. And we've got here a couple extras. We'll just show you right now. The autograph is going to be a Bowman Chrome, 2021 Bowman Chrome of Ruben Ibarra. Nice one right there. we got the Wander Franco from 2022 Top Series 1. And a Gold Cup card of Ryan Mountcastle, Vidal Brujan, and Jonathan India. So again, all of that. If you'd like to grab one of those, you can pick it up on eBay. It's 28 plus six shipping, 34 altogether. And that's it. There's one more that came in from I think it, I, Carl, I think. But I opened this one up and uh it didn't say mystery box Monday on it, but there was just a random card inside. So I just wanted to thank him for that. It's a Tyler Alexander. Um, redemption card right there so I'm not sure I can't remember why that was sent to me if I if I bought it somewhere I don't think I did so if you just sent that to me out of the goodness of your heart um, Carl I really appreciate that I just wanted to thank you for doing that so that's all we have today everybody thank you very much for watching we'll be live in a little bit big live stream a massive product it is uh, they're $475 a box and there's some big chasers in the Jay Claus Series 5. So stay, stay tuned. Tune in for that. I hope I'll see you tonight live for Mystery Box Monday Live. Have a great rest of your Monday, and I'll see you all tonight in the live stream. Good night, everybody.